a little bit bent. Look at that. Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to do a full day wear test and review for Maybelline's newest mascara. This is the Sky High Mascara, which has just launched. So if you want to see how well this wears, whether it smudges, how well it builds up my lashes, I'll give you up close footage. And at the end of the day, my full thoughts as to whether this mascara is worth it. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, follow Lure Beauty on Instagram. If you haven't seen my latest video, make sure you see it. I'll link it in the upper right hand corner for you. It is my my ultimate gift guide at all different price ranges for very unique gifts and gifts that are really good for people who are notoriously difficult to find good gifts for in the area of beauty. There's a lot of like bath and body type of products there. So if you need that guide at any sort of price range for any sort of gift receiver, then that is a great video for you to check out. I also include a lot of discounts for the products that I personally recommend. So it's a good way to save money on upcoming gifts. On my lips, I am wearing one of the new shades from Milani's newest lipstick line. These are the Color Fetish Shine lipsticks. I swatched every single color for you and applied them to the lips. I will also link that video in the upper right hand corner for you if you want to see every single shade applied. The color that I have on my lips today is 130 Lingerie. And I'll try to remember to link this necklace in the description box. It is from Amazon, super affordable, very high quality. So here is the mascara in the original packaging. I purchased the shade 800 Blackest Black and it has kind of uh, vibes in terms of coloration and packaging to the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. Is that L'Oreal's? mascara? Yes, confirmed. L'Oreal's Lash Paradise, but obviously this one is from Maybelline. This is currently available through Walmart online. It also is available at Ulta. Again, I will link in the description box to below to where you can purchase it at the best price so that you don't have to spend more money on it than you, than you need to. And I'll link to Rakuten. If you're doing online shopping, you may as well get cash back through Rakuten. Just putting that out there. If through Walmart's website, this is almost $8.50. If you purchase it through Ulta, it is like eleven and a half dollars Of course, you'll be able to find it at other retailers like your local drugstore and also places like Target. So here's an up close shot of what the tube looks like. I really like this tube. The packaging is great. The color, the raised uh, lettering for sky high. It's very cool. Oh, and the color on my nails is Zoya's Tulip. I will also link in the description box where you can still find this shade. I'm trying to be better about letting you guys know what's on my face and what's on my body in these videos. All right, so we twist out. It's a little bit bent. Look at that. You can see pretty short bristles and it is a plastic comb. Very typical mascara smell to it. So thankfully don't smell anything funky or any fragrance added to this. So I'm gonna go over the claims with you so that we can check out whether we think this mascara lives up to the claims as we wear it throughout the day. So it says, this is our first mascara made for full volume and authentic length. Custom flex brush grips and extends every lash Formula with bamboo extract and fibers gives authentic impact. No clumping, smudging, or flaking up to 24 hour wear. And for the price, you're receiving 7.2 milliliters or 0.24 fluid ounces. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I'm gonna zoom you in. We'll apply to one side. We'll do multiple coats and I'll let you see the comparisons with each coat. So I've curled both sides, but I'm gonna apply first to my right side. Whoops, I got a little bit of smudging on there. I'm gonna clean that up in just a second. Applied very quickly. So there's one coat versus nothing. All right, so coat number two. We wanna see how much it builds, how much it clumps up. And the initial feeling on this is that it's neither a watery formula, no, nor a super thick or like um, moussey formula. All right, there's two versus nothing. I do feel like there's a little bit of clumping. And now let's go in for a third and final coating. Okay, so there is three coats and just curled, no mascara. I mean, there's definitely a lot of noticeable definition, um, an impact on the lashes. 
I would say a good amount of length, a little less uh, volume compared to the length that you get. There is a little bit of clumping, but nothing major. Um, they are still, they don't look too spidery or clumped up. So there you go. Now we can do the bottom lashes too. So I guess there's the final, final comparison. Okay, I should have filmed that, but I just applied one coat to my left side. So I'm gonna now show you just the compa comparison between three coats versus one coat. Now let's go back in. Okay, two coats, three coats. and then three coats on both. And then also apply to the bottom lashes. So now three coats on both sides with one coat on the bottom lashes. All right, so my initial thoughts just when applying, I like the consistency of the mascara because it's neither too watery and thin and it's also not kind of heavy and thick. It's really just in between. The, the bristles or the wand does have flexibility to it. It does flex, you can kind of feel it being a little bit flimsy on the flimsier side when you're applying, which I'm used to just like a standard stiff brush. I don't know that it really makes a difference in application. I don't feel like it made it worse or easier to apply the mascara. And honestly, the more that I look at it, I really like how it layers. Um, even now, I feel like there's pretty much no clumping. I know that I said when I was applying it that there was a little bit of clumping, but when I look at the completed look now, I don't feel like it's clumpy or spidery at all. It clumps together just enough to give more volume um, or body to the lashes, but they don't look unappealing. Um, so I really like the finished look. For now, it's held the curl, but of course that's something that we need to wait several hours for. So I will check in at the end of the day. Uh, if there's some noticeable update just after a few hours that I can come give you, I'll do that. But otherwise, I'll check in with you at the end of the day after at least seven hours of wear. Okay, it's been about two hours since I applied this and I filmed another video. Usually after I film a video because I'm talking and my face is more animated, I do get... Um, mascara smudging and transfer it onto the lower lash lines with most mascaras, even really good ones, but I don't really seem to be having that problem with this mascara. So, so far so good. Um, really no transfer or issues with flaking that I've seen after two, two and a half hours. All right, here's my end of the day check-in. I'm ready to wind down, wash my face, have some dinner. Um, I am really impressed by this formulation. I have had virtually no smudging here. Um, like I said, I've been filming other videos, doing other things around the house, and these have, they look pretty much the same to me as they did upon application. So let me zoom in and let you take a close look. So these have held a curl beautifully, and I just, I, there's no flaking issues. Um, I don't even know, maybe the most minimal of the smudging underneath the eyes. I don't, I don't see anything. Usually I'm doing like this throughout the day to get rid of it, but I have not had to do that with this formula. I came into this expecting this mascara to be, you know, maybe it would be good, but nothing to blow my mind. But this is fantastic long wearing stay in place hold your curl give you definition mascara and i think that the name is quite suitable sky high because i feel like there's a lot of length to my lashes now is this one of the most um body filling mascaras out there no i feel like my lash paradise gives a little bit more volume but maybe not as much length um, I also love the Big Monsieur, I love um, the Voluminous Mascara, all of those. But of all of those that I are in my favorites category, this gives me more length, I think, visually. Um, I, yeah, this is definitely one that I'm going to keep in the rotation. Uh, thumbs up from me, and 
I'm going to continue to wear this as one of my favorites in the new bunch. So let me know what you think if you've tried out this mascara already. And for eight and a half dollars, that's a very decent price for a good mascara at the drugstore. I hope this video was helpful to you and please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video.